Hello, welcome to Balancing Equations Practice Problems. Um, in this video, we're going to just go through a whole bunch of problems. I'm going to give you the answers to them. If you still need uh, explanations on balancing equations, check out the introduction to balancing equations. Okay, so remember with balancing equations, we're looking at the number of atoms on each side of this arrow, on each side of the equation. So my technique is just to write out the actual elements that are on the left-hand side. I'm not going to put F2, I'm just going to put the element itself. And of course, the same elements should be on either side. Then I'm going to count the elements. There's only one atom. No, sorry, not count the elements, count the atoms. There's one atom there. There's two atoms here. Remember, this is the subscript here. And then we've got one here and we've got six here. So quite an easy sort of starting um, equation here. We can see that... The xenon are, are, are balanced, but the fluorines are not. So we can just chuck a big old three in front of that. And that's going to be three times two, which is going to give me my six, which it means it's going to balance on the side, balance on the side, balance and balance. Cool. So that is my final balanced equation. Let's go on to the next problem. All right. We've got silver. We've got hydrogen sulfide. We've got uh, compound here what is this this is uh, disilver sulfide and then we've got hydrogen gas okay so we've got our various different elements on each side silver sulfur hydrogen and same on this side try to keep these the same all right one atom over here we've got two atoms of hydrogen and one of sulfur so i've got one and two this side, I've got two, I've got one, and I've got two. So first thing, straight up, I can just add another molecule of silver. So I can put a two here, which makes the one go into two. So this is now balanced. And the sulfur is balanced, and the hydrogen is balanced. So we are a for aware that was quite a nice, easy one. Okay, let's go over here. We've got some potassium hydroxide, carbon dioxide, and then we've got potassium carbonate plus water okay let's have a look we've got quite a few elements here we've got potassium we've got oxygen we've got carbon and we've got hydrogen same on this side obviously try and pause the video before i go through the answers okay so we've got one on this side we've got two on this side we've got oxygens we've got one here and we've got two here so this is going to give us three this we've got three here and we've got one here so this is going to give me four and what else we've got your carbon that's just the one atom on this side one atom of carbon here hydrogens one over here and then we've got two over here so one and two so let's sort out the potassiums first okay let's just get rid of these arrows make everything nice and neat Okay, so let's sort out the potassiums first, put a big old number two in front of this. Now be careful here because we're going to create two potassiums, which is what we want, so that each side balances. But remember, this two is going to times into the oxygen as well, as well as the hydrogen. So this is going to affect the oxygen and the hydrogen. It's going to be new numbers here. So we've got two times the one gives me two. So that's here two times that one little subscript there that's not it's imaginary one plus the two oxygens on on this carbon dioxide so this is going to be four oxygens now and then i'm going to two times in by the 100 hydrogen over here that's two hydrogens now okay so actually we've balanced the hydrogens nicely we've balanced the oxygens and look what we've got here we've actually got a fully balanced equation so just that little two sorted that one out okay let's see are there any more challenging ones? We've got sodium, we've got chlorine gas, and we're making table salt sodium chloride. All right, let's do it as we are used to it. Oh, we've got one, we've got two, and then on this side, we've got one and one, haven't we? Okay, so we're needing an extra chlorine atom. Remember, you can't just do that. That is not allowed. You have to add an entire molecule of sodium chloride which means the sodium then bumps up to two the chlorine bumps up to two which means now we need to sort something out on this side with the sodium which means we put another two in front here and that will give me two sodiums remember that when we add these two we're talking if you had to visually look at this of 
that was a molecule of sodium chloride. If you put the two, you're talking about a brand new molecule. Same with these sodiums over here. Okay, we did it for the chlorines. Remember chlorine gas, Cl. Cl exists, two atoms of chlorine. That's one molecule of chlorine gas. If you had to put a two here, it would be another whole molecule of chlorine gas. Okay, quite badly drawn, but I think you guys get what I am talking about. Okay, let's go on to a new one over here. We're just churning out the examples here. We've got iron oxide and we've got carbon. Sorry, no, we've got iron oxide as the compound. We've got iron, carbon, and oxygen. And then same here on this right hand side iron, carbon, and oxygen. Let's count the atoms. We've got one. We've got one of oxygen and one of carbon. One, one, and two. So we're just going to sort out this two by putting a big old two in front of there that's going to change the oxygen to two it's also going to change the iron to two which means we need to then go to this side add a two to this side so basically balancing equations is all it just all it is is just adding numbers which is the easiest number to add and you go back and forth until you've got a nice balanced equation okay let's have a look at this one okay so we've got silicon oxide plus carbon equals silicon carbon plus um, carbon dioxide. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we've got silicon, we've got oxygen, we've got carbon, we've got silicon, we've got oxygen, we've got carbon. We've got one here, we've got two here, we've got one here, we've got one here, one and one. The oxygens need to. Um, become balanced I can see so I can put a two in front of here this is going to give me two oxygens and two carbons so then I can just add another two onto these carbons to make them two pretty simple let's go on to our last example don't forget to pause the video and try this for your shells quite a few elements in this iron chlorine sodium oxygen hydrogen yeah, quite a few elements in this example and we've got some brackets here which is nice because it's a little bit more challenging oxygen and hydrogen okay let's do this iron one atom on this side we've got one atom the brackets only represent the three only represent what's inside the brackets chlorine three chlorine on this side one i'm going to sort that out just now one sodium one oxygen one hydrogen this side one sodium now here we go three oxygens three hydrogens all right let's do this what's looking like the easiest solution so far let's do the sodium no sodium balance what am i talking about let's do the chlorines okay the chlorines i can see this is an unbalanced so let's get three on the side big old three this remember is going to affect the sodiums now so the sodiums are going to be out they're going to be three which needs to be need to be changed on this side um but we sorted out the chlorines which is good okay let's go sort out the oxygens now that that's that's changed so we need three on this side let's put a three in front of here now the sodiums are going to change again but the oxygens are going to be sorted so we've got three oxygens We've got three hydrogens, and this is good. This is good so far. Let's just check the sodiums. The sodiums. Oh, what am I saying? The sodiums are with three. Oh, this is perfect. I think we actually got this balance. Let's just double check. Iron, chlorine, sodium, oxygen, hydrogen. Perfect. Hope it's been helpful, guys.